Hello, welcome. It's March. In like a lion, out like a lamb, am I right? It's a new month, so I'm back with a new randomly selecting eyeshadow video to randomly select my eyeshadows for the month of March. This is the series where I have all of my indie single shadows written out on a little slips of paper. I draw them out at random. We put them together in a palette. I use that for the entirety of the month. It's a good time all around, and I love doing it to ensure that I'm getting use out of some of my more forgotten indie single shadows, making sure they're all up to par, getting inspired with combinations I wouldn't have seen otherwise in my collection. So without further ado, let's hop over to my hands and get right into it. Okay, here's my February palette. As usual, it's been moved around a little bit so I can kind of separate after I use them to make sure I'm actually using all of them. I removed the Simply Posh and Odin's Eye one, if you didn't see my video about my makeup being stinky. The answers as to why I removed those are in there. And then I added in this brow bone matte just to have it in my grab and go palette. It was suggested by someone last month to pop in a couple pictures of favorite looks. So I'm going to do that right now. And I can tell you I used Luxie Dreamy as a transition like almost every day. I love that shade. A bunch of these I really love. Some of them I wasn't getting on with so much, but we will address that in a future eyeshadow single declutter. But overall, I was really enjoying this palette. So now I'm going to move it into my big palette where I'm just kind of storing these shadows that have been used already just to make the search a little bit easier. And so if I decide later in the year to make sure that I use all my single shadows in the calendar year like I did last year, I have this jumping off point where all these ones that I have used are already separated. I am going to toss this brow bone highlight just in a normal palette though because it wasn't chosen and I probably will end up sticking it in next time too. So I have my boot to draw my slips from. I actually don't have any new shadows from February which is kind of unusual. I feel like it's been a little while since I've had a month where like everything is old or like old you know because it doesn't really feel old. But that's fun and exciting. So everything's up for grabs. I have the mats back in here after having separated them at some point. And let's see what we get. Okay, so the first one, ooh, Luxy Jeepers Creepers. This one, I think this was one of the greens I really liked from their Halloween collection. So that's exciting. I was just looking at my big palette the other day and thinking about how I have so many gorgeous shades that I don't even like think about the fact that I have. I hope I get some of those today. Give Me Glow Princess Pink. Okay, this is a shadow I know I really like and I haven't used in a while, so that's good. Luxy Bourbon. I think that's like a mid to deep reddish brown, so that's good. Need some mattes in here. JD Glow Unexpected. That's a beautiful shadow and that'll be exciting as well. Wow, I think the past two months I didn't get any of the larger pans. Oh, one fell out. Didn't mean for that too. <laughs> I think the last two months I didn't get any of the larger pans, so it's interesting that I already have two out of four as large pans. Hopefully we don't get that many more because I don't have that much room in my palette. Terra Moon's Meteorite. Oh, that's like a light shimmery one. That one's good. I like that. And it'll be good for an inner corner too. Luxy Twilight. Ooh, this is this fits into the category of really gorgeous ones I never think about. It's like a deepish purpley blue, I think. And I'm really excited for that. Davina Shuggies. Ooh, all right. This is one that I'm very excited to try out more. I got it at the same time as Marama. And this is one of their, I think it's called like the Galaxy Duster. I could be wrong, but one of their $8 formulas. And Marama is one of their $17 formulas. And I always thought they're kind of similar shadows, but like Marama is just like a bit more, you know? But I feel like I never gave Shuggies its full chance. So I'm excited too. Terra Moon's Solar Delirium. This one's a little bit newer in my collection. I mean, I got it last fall, but still, I'm excited to use that. Cleona Halo. Ooh, another inner corner shade. This one is like a reddish inner corner that I really, really like. Menagerie Eel Electric. I think that's a green matte. So 
so that'll be interesting. Menagerie Caramelized. This one's like a yellowy, light to mid-tone matte. Luxie Phone Home. I think this one's a greenish one. I'll be curious to see how that looks next to Jeepers Creepers. But I think Phone Home's more brownish. I don't know. Sometimes I can't keep the Luxie one straight. Cleona Solder. Ooh, okay. This is one that I got in December. It's their newest formula, the like dimensional multichromes. I really liked it a couple times I used it back in December, but I haven't used it since then. Terra Moon's Atlantis. I believe this one's like a dusty blue mid-tone matte, and I like it. Divina Asteria. Okay, I love that shadow. A super gorgeous grungy shade. Divina Earthshine. This is my favorite of the Moonscape shadows. And I think it's been just about exactly a year since I got it. That's fun. Terra Moon's Harvest Moon. Was this one from the Urban Outfitters collab? I know this is like a orangey red. I'm excited to try it out again, but I don't know how much I love it. And I also feel like it's going to look weirder than the palette. Like I'm excited about all the shadows to use them, but I really don't know how they're going to look together. Colourpop Labyrinth. Okay, this is a pretty old shade in my collection, but I am excited because it means we have a crease shade in here, and that's very important to me. And I know at least now I can make a full look. I have my inner corners, my crease, a deepening shade. Pretty Sphere Face Light as a Feather. I also like using this as an inner corner. Luxie Dark Waters. Oh, this is like um a deepish bright blue. Yeah, it's funny how it just feels different sometimes. I feel like there's already so much here, and I'm like, wow, I'm still picking out another five shadows. Luxie Adonis. I really like this one for my inner corner as a blue. Terra Moon's The Cosmos. Always one of my favorites. I actually just wore this the other day, and it was beautiful as always. Yeah, this is such a good combination, because it's like I have some tried and trues that I do reach for, but then other ones to kind of like take me out of my comfort zone a little bit, as in what I normally, you know, do and don't reach for, which also is sometimes just up to like where it's stored in my, in my collection. Cleona Wall of Ivy. This was from their expansion during the summer. I think it's a really gorgeous shadow, but I never reach for it. So that'll be exciting to see. Menagerie Turtle Club. I think this one's like a greenish minty shimmer. And then our final one is going to be, I'm digging in there and make sure we get a good one. Luxi Apollo. I feel like this is a green. Why am I drawing a blank? I feel like this is like a minty green. I think it is. I think it's actually going to be kind of similar to Turtle Club, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to grab these out and see how interesting um, the collection of shadows looks together. Often there's like one or two that I just can't find. I know it's somewhere, but I don't want to rip my whole collection apart looking for it. So as much as I'm excited for Divina Asteria, I'm going to redraw that and we'll get it another month and I'll find it somehow. <laughs> Ooh, Pretty Sphere Face Glacier. I've been hoping to get that the last couple months. Ooh, perfect. And I feel like it will go with some other shadows really well, but it also is bringing something new here. So that's really exciting. This assortment looks so different than my past month's assortments have. I remember remarking maybe in January, I don't know if I did in February also, that just my decluttering has brought my collection to averaging out to a certain assortment of colors. And maybe this is a fluke, but there's a lot of like minty greenish blue in here and I think of my collection now being more leaning like neutral and pinky and purple and we have a little bit of that but not much but this is still exciting and it's so fun that even after narrowing down my collection I can get such different assortments month to month so yeah I'm going to arrange this in the palette and see if I can make it look at least kind of cohesive
I ran out of memory before. I'm not exactly sure where it cut off, but I wasn't excited about the direction that the palette organization was heading anyway, and I redid it off camera, and I definitely prefer it now. I just feel like there's some colors that just give me, like, like a hard stop. I just don't like seeing, like, an orange shade like that next to these minty shades like this. I said that in my video duping the Glam Light Barbie palette, and a bunch of commenters said they love using oranges and teals together. I haven't done it in many years, but the reason for that is I remember several times years ago doing orange and teal or mint looks and just, like, hating it and not feeling like me at all. And something about them visually together... I'm just like, stay away, like as far away as possible. <laughs> I kind of feel like that about the red too. So I'm fine with orange next to pink and red near, you know, orange and pink and brown. And I feel like they have their, their little protection up there from the rest of the colors. And I am excited now about how this palette looks. I'm going to do swatches, but first we're going to talk about the other things I'm randomly selecting. I mentioned last month that I wasn't randomly selecting the individual single shadows because I really need to kind of reestablish my relationship with them and see what is worth keeping and what is just taking up space in my collection. I planned on doing that in February, but I did not do that in February, so I'm also not going to draw any of those shadows this month. But I hope and plan to make some content about them in March, so then in April we can start drawing those again. I will draw some palettes, though. Sometimes I try to favor the new palettes I've gotten also, and I have gotten three in the past, like, month and a half or so that I haven't featured in one of these videos, but I just... I just feel like doing it random. And I know those palettes I'll still be kind of grabbing out of to try them out and use as accent palettes anyway. So it doesn't seem like a great tragedy to me if I'm not using them as my focus palette. But yeah, let's see. Okay, the Glam Light Chocolate Martini, which is one of the new palettes that I got. That's exciting. I am excited for this. I used it yesterday and I got a really pretty like rose gold neutral look. So that is kind of fun to like try it out a little bit more. There might be another slip in here that says the words Glam Light Chucky on it. And I haven't used that one yet. Actually, I used one matte shade. But other than that, I haven't used that yet because I'm kind of like saving my first impressions for a video. But let me know if you prefer a sooner first impressions or a more pushback, like more so a review type of video. Let me know. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Menagerie Killer Purr is the other new palette that I have that isn't the Glam Light Chucky. That's really funny. I added three new slips in here today. I mentioned one of them and I pulled out the other two. So that's kind of funny. That kind of makes me want to like grab one more out. I'm going to grab one more out and I'll keep it in if it's like nine pans or less. Miami Lights. That's a four pan glitter palette, so that's staying in. All right, let me grab those palettes out. Okay, so we have Chocolate Martini. Not a huge fan of the outside packaging, but this looks nice, right? And then we have Killer Purr. I meant to do a video with this when I first got it. Hadn't gotten around to it. Let me know if you'd be interested, but I have been enjoying dipping into it so far, and I'm excited to dip into it way more. And the little Nabla Miami Lights palette. Cute. I just think it's so funny that the random eyeshadow gods were like, random is going to be the same thing as if it wasn't random today. Here's like almost all of the shadows in one shot. I was feeling a little tethered last month, by only having one real transition shade in all of my shadows I had chosen for use. So this is fun that I have like two in here. I have at least one in here. I don't really know how deep some of the mid-tone ones go in my skin tone, and there's at least one in here also. So this is nice. It'll feel nice to have options. I also feel like where this palette lacks in warmth, these palettes kind of make up for it. And neutrals too, because this, like, we don't really have many neutral shimmers in here. So I have, like, really pretty, like, bronze and gold options in here. 
Cleona Halo, Terra Moon's Meteorite, Menagerie, Menagerie Caramelized, Terra Moon's Solar Delirium, Terra Moon's Harvest Moon, Davina Shuggies, Produce for Your Face Light as a Feather, Colourpop Labyrinth. Give Me Glow Princess Pink, Cleona Solder, JD Glow Unexpected, Luxy Bourbon, Divina Earthshine, Cleona Wall of Ivy, Luxy Dark Waters, Luxy Apollo, Menagerie Turtle Club. These two are very similar. But Turtle Club definitely feels way, like, thicker. I don't tend to use either of them, though. So it'll be interesting to, like, see them in use and see how I actually feel with them on my eyes. Luxy Jeepers Creepers. That's pretty. Luxy Phone Home. A little bit more green. Menagerie Electric. Luxy Apollo. Terra Moon's The Cosmos. Pretties for Your Face, Glacier, Terra Moon's Atlantis, and Luxy Twilight. And I hope that was in frame. <laughs> Here's the palette. Cool, yeah, it definitely goes harder in some directions than I would have chosen. If I was making this, I would have it maybe go hard in like one or two directions, but not, not like blue and red and green at the same time. But... I'm really excited. There's definitely a lot of shadows in here that I don't get enough use out of and some room to like discover whether or not they really have a lasting place in my collection. That's really exciting. So yeah, let's switch back over to my face. I'm really excited to be using this palette this month. Let me fill you in on what's on my eyes. Day to day, I do tend to do looks that are more minimal, but especially when I first get this palette, I'm just inspired to like combine, to play, to like put a bunch of my eyes at the same time. So that's what I did today. I used Luxie Adonis on my inner corner. I used Terra Moon's The Cosmos first on my lid, going into Glacier from Pretties for Your Face, going into Twilight from Luxie, going into Dark Waters from Luxie. And then on my lower lash line, I used Atlantis from Terra Moon's The Matte, and I blended that into Twilight and Dark Waters. My transition shade is Labyrinth from ColourPop, which looks way more like peachy and orange than I expected. I don't know if that's the camera making it warmer or if my brush was dirty, <laughs> which is possible. But I, I don't mind the way it looks. I think it looks cute. And yeah, I'm digging this look a little bit more than I tend to do for no reason. But I still think it, like, makes sense. They look good together and, like, still really easy to apply like that. But yeah, that's everything for today. I hope if you enjoyed this, you'll give me a like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for being here today. Bye.